Hello everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. We are currently in my guest bedroom and in today's video I'm going to share with you some new furniture items that I received from Costway and I will also show you how I styled those pieces in with all of my thrifted decor items and then I will also take you on a tour of my guest bedroom or what I like to call my ladies lair. So technically this is my guest bedroom, but honestly I use this room more than guests do. I'm always the first one up in my home, so I like to come in here in the mornings and get ready. I have a small vanity in here, so I do my makeup in here. I'm definitely the type of person that has to sit down at a vanity when I'm doing my makeup because standing in the bathroom mirror just does not work for me. So I bought this vanity at a thrift store about seven years ago, and I think I paid like $15 for it. It has worked out really well over the last seven years, but it is on the small side and it does lack storage. So anytime that I have guests come over, I take my makeup out. I have all of my makeup in these little individual dividers. So I just take all of them out and I put them in the bathroom or wherever I'm gonna do my makeup when I have a guest come over. So I've definitely outgrown the style of this vanity and I was looking for something a little bit more modern and I wanted to say thank you so much to Costway for partnering with me on today's video. This video is not sponsored, but they did kindly send me over this new desk that I'm going to share with you. I will have it linked down below as well as all of the other furniture items that they sent me for today's video. So I also wanted to get a new chair to go with the desk. I wanted something a little bit more modern. So I also received this chair here from Costway. It's a black faux leather and it has chrome detail. Unfortunately, the chair would not slide all the way under the desk, even at the shortest setting because of the arm bars. So I will use this in another room. I'll show you towards the end of the video where I decided to use this. So I decided just to use the current chair that I already had. I thrifted this a few years ago and I think I paid $10 for the chair and I just have a little black seat cushion on top of it. But honestly, I think it worked out for the best. I think the chair pairs really nicely with the desk. I like the contrast, but it still has that modern feel that I was going for. I also decided to add a small trash can right beside the chair to kind of balance out the space underneath. I really liked the open storage space that the desk has underneath. So on one side of the desk here, I'm just putting back all of my makeup containers. I was able to fit everything plus more back in here. So now that I've got the functional side taken care of, I thought I would display some of my favorite Marilyn Monroe books and magazines on the other side. I'm also going to see if there's enough room to also put some of my journals in here as well. So everything did fit in here nicely and I like how you can see these items so it's like they're displayed but they're not taking up room on top of the actual desk. So now we are on the other side of the room and I have this full length mirror propped up against the wall here. I actually just thrifted this mirror at Goodwill a couple of weeks ago. I paid $10 for it. So I love this mirror and I'm glad that I found it, but I'm also glad I didn't mount it yet because I'm actually gonna move it into another room. So I did get a new floor length mirror for this room and it's also from Costway. I will link it down below in case you're interested. So I really love this mirror, especially for this room. Right now I'm gonna take all the plastic off of it and I'm gonna get it all set up and show you what it looks like. So here is the back side of the mirror. What I like about this mirror is that you can mount it to the wall or you can use the easel that it has on the bottom of it. And for right now, I just have the mirror in the exact same spot as my previous mirror. I really like the fact that I don't have to mount this mirror in case I change my mind and I wanna move it to another spot in the room. And over here on the other side of the window beside my new desk, I also have a garment rack that I picked up at a thrift store a couple of weeks ago when I found that mirror. I just have some wooden hangers on it and I have some of my favorite throw blankets displayed on it. And then when guests come over, they can hang their clothes here if they want to. And here is what the top of the desk slash vanity looks like. I pretty much kept everything the same and everything that you see on top of here, minus the brushes have been thrifted. I thrifted the brush holder, the marble tray that it's sitting on, and also this little light up mirror on the other side. I got that for a couple of bucks and I love it. I use it every day. 
And now I'm going to spin you around and show you everything else that I have currently in my guest bedroom. Over here in the corner I have this tall armoire cabinet that was given to me by a neighbor that was moving. And on top of it I just have my TV. And I do like to come in here quite often and lay on the bed and watch movies in here. This is like my little getaway area. I did spend a lot of time in here quarantining at one point. And over here on the opposite side of the room on the wall, I have a art print of Marilyn Monroe. It's a sketch from an artist and I just love it here. This was part of my granddad's collection. And here is the bed. It is a queen size and I will link the bed frame down below in my description box. I got it about five or six months ago and I really like it. I will also leave the actual bedding in the description box as well too in case you're interested. I also thrifted the dark blue navy velvet pillow covers at Goodwill. I'm also still looking for a piece of artwork to go over the bed. I haven't quite found what I'm looking for yet so I'm always on the hunt for something. And down down here in the corner I have my nightstand which actually used to be a vintage vanity. I had it in this room about a year and a half ago, maybe two years. I wasn't liking it, it was way too short, so I chopped it up and turned it into two nightstands. One of them I gave to a friend and I kept this one here and it fits perfectly over here beside the bed. On top of it I have a lamp that I also thrifted. I like this lamp because it has a USB port on it so it's perfect for charging a phone. And that's pretty much it for the bedroom. Now I'm gonna take you into my office and show you where I decided to use that chair that I mentioned earlier in the video. So I have a standing desk in my office and I pretty much use this as a standing desk at least half of the time, but sometimes I like to sit down and I'm always dragging a chair in from another room. So when the chair didn't quite work out for the vanity area, I decided to go ahead and use it here in my office. If you're looking for a really good standing desk that also converts into a sitting desk, I highly recommend the ones from FlexiSpot. I've had this for a little over a year now and I really like it. I will also link this down below in my description box in case you're interested. And I really like how the chair looks with the desk and I want to say thank you again to Costaway for partnering with me on today's video and sending me over all of this furniture. Like I mentioned I will have all of their links down below in my description box and if you're wondering what I did with that vanity in the beginning of the video, I had a perfect spot for it in my laundry area under this window. I'll probably end up putting a plant on here, but I'm glad it worked out and I was able to use this in another portion of my home. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.